What up, what up, what up, everybody, and welcome to the den. It's your girl, Ellie. It's been a while, but I'm back. How's everybody doing out there, man? Hope everybody is doing the very best that they can. Wishing you all the best. Hoping everyone's doing good. Anyway, I know it's been a while, so I'm back here with you guys. You know, to discuss a few topics, you know, just catch up, see what's going on with you guys and how everyone is doing this evening. Me, myself, I've been doing good, you know, just working, getting to the bag, you know, handling my priorities, keeping what's important first. So, man, I got a few things that I want to talk about tonight. First of all, Seem like it's break up season, man. It feel like every freaking body is breaking up. I know y'all been hearing about it. So before I get into it, I just want to see, can I get some people to jump on here? You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? Shout out, shout out. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? It's been a while. It's been a while, but we back in this thing. Yeah, man. First thing I want to do, though, that I haven't done in a while. I know I haven't been on here in a while or whatever, so got to get back in the swing of it. Had to take a little hiatus to kind of figure out my direction of, you know, which way I want to go with the show. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make it more about things that I wanted to talk about, you know, things that was important to me and not necessarily, you know, following anybody else or riding any coattails or anything like that. So, if y'all rocking with me, we in here. We are definitely in here. All right, let me see who all jumping in. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, viewer? What's up, viewer? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing out there? All right, man. So let's jump into these topics. If I can't respond right away, to a comment that one of you guys make, just bear with me because I'm kind of maneuvering between uh, screens or whatever. So the first thing that I want to talk about, the first breakup that I want to talk about, oh man, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite couples, and that is Tiana Taylor and Iman Shrumpert. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Excuse me if I butchered it, Iman and Tiana, because I love both of y'all. But anyway, yeah, man, they separated. They're not divorced yet, but they are separated, man. I, I hate to hear about it. You know, let me pull it up real quick and let y'all see what I saw. So just bear with me a minute. Yeah, man, I can't believe this right here, man. Like, I was definitely rooting, and it's funny. Her page is the first one that pops up. But yeah, man, I was definitely rooting for this couple. So, it hurts to see them, you know what I'm saying, going their separate ways. But they still co-parenting, you know, according to her. You know what I'm saying? They still the best of friends. So, yeah. So let me scroll down, get to this story here. Yeah, man, y'all got to hear this. So here it is right here. So here it go right here. She said, I, I, not too much on my bestie. In all fairness, Iman and I are separated and have been for a while. To be 100% clear, infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. We are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are on one hell of and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful children. Pause. We're going to stop right there. So basically, she's saying we ain't together. We cool, but we not together. So... That's sad, man. That's really, really, really sad. And I really hope that those two work it out. I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't really see it coming. You know how with some couples, you can kind of see the breakup coming. Or not even necessarily that. You can kind of sense like it's something off between them. Then again, you know, I could be wrong. Those rich people problems. 
You know what I'm saying? I just always viewed them as, you know, one of the, the pillars in the in the black community as far as relationships and all that. So it's just unfortunate to see those two breaking up. It's a little lag with my screen here, so y'all definitely please bear with me. But we get into it, we get into it. Man, yeah. So it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. The next story. Let me get off of this. So the next story that I want to talk about is Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. I know y'all heard about that because that is one that is definitely trending. So I don't necessarily just have that pulled up on my IG. But look, I'm going to read the story to y'all to my knowledge and what I heard about it. So, this is what I found. So, the first time that I heard about it, um, I saw it briefly on Instagram. And what happened was, like, the story popped up and then it went right away before I could save it. So, that's crazy. And, yeah, we are definitely lagging. We lagging. I might have to stop and restart. But anyway, after two years, according to the radar website source that I pulled up, after two years of marriage, on Friday, what was that? The 14th, Jeezy filed for divorce. So basically, it's not necessarily saying like what the specific reason was or why he filed but, you know, according to the documents, you know, he's trying to be as amicable as possible. You know, he wanted to let the lawyers handle all of the finances. You know, he wanted to handle the, the co-parenting and the custody issues with the kids. It's just like, he just like, I'm done, which is crazy. So, yeah, man, that's definitely unfortunate to see as well. And y'all excuse the lag on my screen here. It's definitely lagging. Well, yeah, man, that's, it's, it's just sad. It's just sad. What up, cuz? What up, classmate? Tamp? What up, Tussy Ro? How y'all doing out there? Yeah, man, but once again... That is definitely sad, sad, sad business, sad business, sad business. I jumped into my topics and I didn't get into my fit check because I got like a million and one things here that I'm doing right now. I just wanted to make sure that I started recording, just jumping back on here, you know, touching bases with you guys, just, you know, getting my feet back wet in this whole podcasting thing you know this is something that i've been working on for a while you know and i'm still figuring out the ins and outs of it so y'all definitely bear with me y'all tune in any suggestions you know anybody want to come on and talk about some stuff you got some products you got some music or something you want to promote definitely holla at your girl no doubt so what I believe I'm going to do, guys, is probably just cut this short because, yeah, this is not acting right. Oh, man, I hate that to have to jump off with you guys so soon. I thought I had these issues worked out, but please believe this will not be the last time you guys will be seeing me here on the den. Man. It's just, it's been a lot going on to my hometown. I just want to send love and light out to y'all. It's a lot going on out there. You know, I don't want to just put, you know, people's business and stuff out like that. But I just want to send shout out to my hometown, Rubeville, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. No doubt, it's always home. Y'all are in my hearts, are in my prayers. Definitely, definitely never forget about y'all i hope y'all never forget about me and 
hey, y'all gonna be seeing me much more once again, like I said, here on the den. So don't be shy. You know, if you guys got some topics y'all want to talk about, hit me up. Inbox me. You know what I'm saying? When y'all catch me on here, shoot me a comment. And I will definitely see what I can do to kind of incorporate and make the show, show better for everybody. But what I do know is that the consistency is key. You know, I haven't been on it the way that I needed to be lately. You know, just for other things going on in my life. You know, life has been life in. So... It's not an excuse, it's facts. So that is what it is. Um, again, just showing y'all love. Just happy for the couple viewers that's popping in and out, hollering at your girl, checking in on your girl. What's going on? What's going on? How is everybody doing? I didn't really get a chance to do my fit check. I don't got nothing on special here. Y'all can see me. I got on my I'm Living B. They had a little giveaway around the hood. Uh, what was that? Over the weekend or whatever, they was giving away fish dinners and they was giving away some t-shirts. So I had the opportunity to go grab me a t-shirt, got me a good fish dinner. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm Living B is a local black owned company for right here in Buffalo, New York. They got t-shirts, they got sweatshirts, all of that. I'm not promoting, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, sponsored by anything, you know, it's just I got it on, so... I'm just giving it a shout out. Just giving it a shout out. What up, John? How you doing? Sending love, sending love to everybody back home. No doubt, no doubt. It's good to hear from you guys. Glad you guys is just tuning in, checking it out, checking it out. So, let's keep it moving. I don't know what's going on with my screen, man. I keep freezing up. I know that it is. Because I'm looking at it. Yeah, I had a couple of more topics that I wanted to talk to you guys about. But, again, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. So, I'm going to holler at some of y'all in the chat real quick. Yeah, John, you full of it. Because I was trying to get you to come on and, and, and do a, a show with me or whatever. And you was acting real funny style. So, I'm going to call you out on that. John Conway, I know you DJ and all that kind of stuff like that. Hey, but it's all good, though. It's all goody to the goody, goody, goody. Anyway, what else going on out there, guys? Y'all jump in the chat. Holla at me, man. It's just good seeing you guys. JB, what up, baby? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. How you doing, love? Good to hear from you, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, man, I'm just trying to wait until my screen catches up to my voice because I got a couple of more things that I want to share with you guys. But if it doesn't happen, I'm going to have to re-record this again. So anyway, while we waiting, I'm going to take a little shot. It's shot o'clock. Yeah, man, I froze up for a real, real long time. I don't know what's that about, but it's getting on my nerves. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to test again and see how this equipment is working. And I seem to still be having some glitches. So, I think I'm going to stop at 20 minutes with this just to... Figure out why is it being weird. Yeah, but again, man, I've been I've been doing a lot, you know, just trying to live life to the fullest. You know, my birthday just passed in August. I went to go see uh 50 Cent, Buster Rhyme, and Jeremiah. Oh my goodness, it was so, so, so much fun. I got pictures and a few videos up on my page. Oh my goodness, it was dope. When I tell y'all, I danced all night long. Like, I haven't had that much fun. I haven't danced so much since I can't even remember. 
but it was definitely a dope time. I enjoyed that. Um, we just had the Erie County Fair. I went to that. We had fun, played some games, rode the little electronic cow and all that. That was dope. Uh, man, just a lot. Just, you know, enjoying the last end of the summer, you know, just trying to get out and enjoy yourself. You know, life is short. So you got to enjoy it. Um, I don't know. I just want to take a minute and just encourage everybody. You know, once again, I know it's a lot going on. I know everybody is not in the highest of spirits right now, you know. And I don't know. Maybe y'all see my funny looking ass and it'll make y'all feel a little better. You know what I'm saying? Brighten y'all spirit up. That's one of the reasons why I got on just to kind of, you know, clear my head. You know, with everything that's going on, my mom's anniversary, passing, you know, it's been a lot. And sometimes, you know, we just got to lean on each other. When one of us hurt, we all hurt. So, I definitely want y'all to know, you know, I'm here for you guys. I love you guys. You know, I might not always be, you know, present physically, but always you know, in spirit, my prayers is always there. My love is always there. Just want you guys to know that. Back home in here as well. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's been, it's been a, a, a hell of a year. 2023 has been a, a hell of a year. That's for sure. That is for sure. Once again, man, thank y'all for tuning in. I got a couple of viewers. Thank you for tuning in. What's up? Shout out, shout out. Drop a comment. Let me know you here. What up, Lorenzo? Good to see you, homeboy. Good to hear from you. It feel good to hear from y'all. You know, the ones that's checking in or whatever. Definitely good to hear from y'all. That's what's up. That's what's up. Man, I'm trying to make it back home for homecoming. I heard it's going to be lit. So, I'm going to do my best to make it there. You know, just to see my people or whatever. That's the plan. That's the plan. So, I will be there soon. Yeah. I haven't been back home since, what, like 2011. Yeah, it's been, it's been that long, so I think it's time. Definitely think it's time to do that. No, no doubt, Lorenzo, no doubt. Definitely staying safe. Everyone doing good, you know what I'm saying? I hope everything is good with your family as well. Sending my love, definitely stay, stay safe. Simpson Transport. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, listen, we still in the beginning stages here. I'm still working on it, still trying to get it together. Honestly, really just trying to, you know, fill out the direction that I want to go with it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I just had to take a little time off, you know, to, you know, take care of, you know, personal things and handle priorities first. You know, this is definitely something that I'm still working on, something that I care about a lot, but at the same time, business first, you know. But again, any ideas, anybody that want to come on and talk or whatever, y'all feeling my vibe, definitely hit me up. Definitely view the show. Um, check out my YouTube page. Run the views up on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this thing figured out here, you know, but... I'm definitely jumping back into it. Definitely jumping back into it. So y'all ready for homecoming down there? That's what I want to know. I want to know is y'all ready for homecoming down there? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't make me get emotional on here, man. Because I don't know. I, I'm just trying to be there for my people, you know what I'm saying? All I can do is just be myself, you know? And sometimes all you need is just a kind word, 
You know, sometimes you just need somebody to just say something nice, say it's going to be okay, you know, say I'm here for for you or whatever. I know for me, sometimes that that's all I need, you know, sometimes just a kind word, just you guys, you know, checking in, saying hello, you know. So definitely keep that in mind. Somebody loves you, baby. Yeah. JBO, you said you ready for homecoming? I bet. I bet, I bet, I know it's going to be going up. I, I already know. I remember from back in the day when I used to, you know, when I used to live down there in Ruville or whatever, going to the homecomings, man, that was one of the highlights, highlights of the year, homecoming. So, yeah, that would be awesome seeing some of my classmates, you know, old friends, man, yeah. That's going to be dope. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I don't went to 21 minutes. So I'm going to sit on here a little while longer and chit chat with y'all. Listen, this is, this, is, this is a support. This is an emotional support stream right now. You know, I just feel like I, I need to talk it out. You know, with people that's familiar faces, people who I feel like who know me, you know what I'm saying? So, it's not just about, you know, me being here for y'all, but it's you guys being here for me. So, I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. So, aside from homecoming... What y'all got going on? Simpson Transport said they going to several homecomings. Okay, which y'all ones you going to? What's all I know is it's Ruville, uh, what is it, Gentry, uh, Cleveland. What's Cleveland? East Side. No, they homecoming. It's a few of them. So yeah, you you gonna be. Booked and busy. I feel you. Live it up. Do it up. Do it up. Do it up. That's one thing I miss about back home is the homecomings, like the parades, the bands and stuff like that. Like here, they don't really do it. You know, it's not, you know, as big as it is down there now. Even though I live in Buffalo and you know how these Buffalo Bills fans are. I am a, I'm a Bills fan too, but, you know, I'm not one of those you know, I'm going to beat you up type fans. <laughs> West Tally. Oh, yeah. I forgot about West Tallahatchie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Valley, Ruleville. Oh, yeah. You about to do it up. You about to have fun. Definitely take lots of pictures. Take lots of pictures. Post up, post up. Definitely want to see that. But the plan for me is to definitely be in Ruleville for homecoming this year. That is the plan. So, I'm definitely... Looking forward to that. Looking forward to eating some good food. Having some good laughs. Definitely. I live in Buffalo, so it's I right. I'm not in the, in the city. I live in upstate New York, so, you know, it's cool here, you know. It's cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, once again, just, you know, have you guys on my mind. And I was just thinking of some topics to speak on when I got on here. I, I had them all in my head of what I wanted to talk about. And I had some things saved that I wanted to share. And... Hey, it just didn't go that way. So now it's me and it's you and it's us and let's chat it out. Let's chat it out. I don't know. I need to come up with some jokes or something to make y'all laugh. Like I'm really just trying to figure out like what is it that I can do to, you know what I'm saying? Like make the show more interesting. You know what I'm saying? To get y'all to want to, you know, actually take a, a, a slotted time out of the day and say, okay, I'm going to watch the den. Like, I really want to know, like, what y'all want to talk about. 
You know what I'm saying? What's going on y'all mind? So with that, I was doing the whole thing with the music. Um, Simpson Transport. I was doing the whole thing with the music. But, you know, it's like different types of copyright issues or whatever uh i did one particular show and i played a couple of songs and they ended up taking the sound out of it so i do want to play music but you know i'm just trying to figure out how that whole copyright thing goes so it won't be no problems or whatever but yeah i be wanting to jam you know it's a couple of songs that i i be <laughs> i want to play but you know i just don't want my stuff to get cut off and then you know you just literally sitting there watching my mouth move, but can't hear nothing, so. I know that's you, Antoine. <laughs> I'll just read the name off of there, Simpson Transport. How you been doing? What you been up to? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But y'all come on in, tune in, tune in, definitely tune in, run my views up. I would definitely appreciate it. Listen, guys, so I'm not the best on Facebook. I will say that. Like, I don't post all the time. Like, sometimes I'll be logged in, but I'm not, like, actually looking at it because I'll, like, forget to log out. So I know I need to be more supportive of you know other people that have things going on if i want that same support back so i'm definitely trying to do better with that especially with you know growing my own podcast you know hey you gotta look out for each other you know it's you know one person you know i scratch your back you scratch my back so i definitely get that whole concept of it again still in the beginning stages you know with really trying to you know just figure out the ins and outs you know, getting this equipment and everything the way that I really needed to be set up so I could, you know, share good content with you guys and actually, excuse me, and actually, you know, persuade people to want to come on here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know, invite people on and, you know, they don't feel comfortable or, you know, the, the equipment is faulty. So, you know, we having the issues like we having tonight. So I don't want it to, to be like that. It's a process. It's a process, but once I get it together, it's, it's definitely going to be together. And I appreciate the support, you know, that I've been getting thus far. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, okay. No doubt. No doubt. Transport. Simpson transport. No doubt. Definitely got to be consistent and always put God first in everything that you do. The most high heavenly father you know whatever you call them you know you definitely gotta put them first and keep going no doubt no doubt no doubt and then you know another thing about this podcast okay so i live in buffalo new york and i was raised down south in mississippi so like the thing is it's like the cross in between the two it's like you know it's stuff going on here but for the most part, my audience is mostly down south. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I could be talking about stuff that's going on up here that, you know, y'all really don't care about. So it's like, okay, what? why would you want to watch it if I'm talking about some shit that y'all really don't care about? Especially like when it comes to the music and stuff like that, it might, you know, it's a big difference in the southern, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know the hip-hop here so i get that as well that's why i am definitely open to constructive criticism and all of that good stuff no doubt definitely gotta get back to the point where i'm having guests on here where i'm just feeling more comfortable you know getting on here like this just talking to you guys more just getting the feel of it you know i always feel a little nervous before I go live. 
Right. Right. I, I hear you. I hear you, uh, Antoine. No doubt. And then, I, you know, I just got to check in with what's going on and what's, you know, what's the thing that's trending down there or what everybody is talking about down there, you know. I really just want to be able to appeal to everyone, you know, to all audiences. Okay. Right. Yeah, so I'm definitely happy, definitely happy to just be back doing what I love to do. Believe it or not, this is something that I like doing. I just don't have all of the time in the world to get it done. And again, it's a process. It is for sure. Keep going. Oh, thank you, JB. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yep, definitely are human beings for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, guys, so, hey, I, I made it to 30 minutes. I like to at least stick with you guys an hour, and I just, like, go off of that. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like things is flowing, then I'll go a little bit longer. You know, if I feel like it's kind of dry, you know, then I'll just go ahead and cut off at an hour. But because I keep having this doggone glitch here, like, I'm looking at my forehead froze in the screen right now, so that's a little discouraging yeah man where y'all at big sexy where you at girl shout out shout out to my girl big sexy yeah and then i'm just chilling i'm just vibing you know i'm in my own little zone like I say, you know, dealing with my mom's anniversary, you know, on top of all of the other things that have transpired within this, this just past couple of weeks, you know, it's a lot, you know, but you got to stay strong. You got to stay vigilant. You got to keep moving forward, you know, can't make progress if you're standing still. You got to keep pushing, you know, got to stay prayed up, no doubt. No doubt. Shout out to my family out there. I love you guys. Hope everybody doing good. Whoever I haven't talked to in a while, y'all excuse my voice. I've been, you know, my voice is kind of raspy anyway, but it might be a little extra raspy just because, you know. Now I ain't trying to really get into no, no sad stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want to be on some positive stuff. You know what I'm saying? I need to learn some damn jokes so I can crack and make y'all asses laugh or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, you know, uh, I'm too old to be thirst trapping and shit for y'all, so. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, man. Um, what else? I'm supposed to be um, going to New York City in November. It's a, a popular podcast that I like watching called Back on Fig. So another, um, you know, individual show. Shout out Back on Fig, Heather, Smack, Get Well. The whole Back on Fig family, definitely shout out, shout out. Shout out to the Roundtable Podcast, definitely shout out. Shout out Waverly Jones, definitely want to show love. Especially to those that I feel like, you know, inspired the whole show. So, you know, that's for sure. I absolutely, you know, hope to be, you know, as big, you know what I'm saying? And, and as, you know, appealing as those shows are. One of these days. So I told me my fans don't like me. And I feel like, how how is you a fan and you don't like me? Like, that don't even make sense. 
I'm like, I'm confused as to how that works. You know what I'm saying? I like, I know we all got our weird ways about ourselves, so. But it, it like, it don't make sense to me. I don't know. I love y'all, so. Okay, now it look like I'm, no, I'm still froze. I'm still froze. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me see. Something. I don't know why it's like this, guys. I thought I took care of it, but I guess I did not. Okay. I don't know why it looked like that on my screen. It's weird. But anyway, I'm still here, guys. I'm chilling, man. Um, having a few drinks. I just got my good old bottle of hen doggy dog. Got me a little smoky smoke. And I'm chilling, I'm vibing. You know what I'm saying? In my own zone. You know, just vibing out. That's it. That is it. So what's going on with the homecoming t-shirts, man? Who got the merch? Matter of fact, never mind. I know who got the uh, merch. It's Trina. I'm going to have to hit up my girl Trina. Get me some t-shirts, mate. I definitely gotta, I gotta do that. Definitely gotta represent. Definitely, definitely want to step out to homecoming, representing the home team for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Man, can y'all believe how fast the summer went by? Like that's crazy. Like me, my birthday is in August, so. By that time of year, it's like the summer is over. After my birthday, the summer is over. You know? So, it's like, it's about to be cold. Like, it's literally the end of September. It's about to be Halloween. And then it's about to be Thanksgiving. And then Christmas. And then next year. <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling y'all, once I get the proper equipment, this shit is going to be so much better. It's going to be so much more top tier. Like, I'm naturally a, a talkative person, but it's different, you know, when I'm just sitting here staring at the camera talking to y'all. And ain't nobody sitting here next to me. You know what I'm saying? So, something I got to get used to if, if I'm going to be a, a podcaster. <laughs> yeah man so I'm not gonna stay on here too much longer with y'all just like I said I just really wanted to get on touch bases talk about those two little things that was transpiring that I heard about um heard about Remy Mom Pat Poos and you know you know, I love Pat. I love Remy. That's sad. Um, I ain't really get a chance to pull up the information. So, when I get more about it, I speak on it. But, yeah. I heard there's some breaking up going on there, too. Man, fight for y'all relationships, man. Fight for y'all relationships. It's crazy. We need each other. We better together. What, uh, what Jay-Z say? Nobody wins when the family feuds. It's a fact. Nobody wins when the family feuds. Real shit. We got to stick together in times of adversity. We got to stick together. You know what I'm saying? When things ain't easy, things ain't pretty, because things ain't always going to be pretty, guys. And, you know, most of us know that firsthand. 
you know, sometimes you gotta still find the beauty in the midst of the storm, you know, you still gotta search for that little gray lining, silver lining, I'm sorry, silver lining and the gray cloud, you know, that's, that's where you gotta be, because if, if you ain't there, this is destruction after, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's sadness and misery and who wants that we don't want that we want to be happy i want y'all to be happy i hope y'all want me to be happy you know and i hope that um you know i hope this video helps some of y'all feel a little better you know i hope that you know if you ain't watching it now you'll watch it later and you know you feel more inclined to, you know, check out the show and, you know, rock out with your girl. Rock out with your girl. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm going to go ahead and rock it out with you guys for these last few minutes or whatever. I already made it at 40 minutes. feel like an hour go by so fast. I'm sitting here just running my mouth. Y'all, excuse me. I'm not, like, super, super, super dressed up. You know, it's just, like I said, it was just one of them days, and I felt like I just needed to jump on for a minute, you know, so. It's going to get greater later. I keep saying it, I'm claiming it, because it's a fact, because it's going to happen, you know, even through the midst of all of the struggles and the hard times, you know, the non-believers, I know that it's something greater to come later on. And I hope that you guys feel that same way too about whatever is going on in your life. Whatever hard time you having in your life, whatever hurdle that you having in your life, just know that, you know, storms pass, trouble don't last always, you know, things happen for a reason, you know, even though we don't understand exactly what it is at the time, you know, sometimes things happen to open our eyes, sometimes things happen to slow us down. You know, sometimes things happen to speed us up, you know, so it's always just finding a lesson in the things that happen, whether they be good or bad. And it just, you know, makes it easier to cope because some things you never get over. Some things you'll never get over, you know, you learn how to cope with them. So, no, that's my little snippet of wisdom for you guys you know what i'm saying and uh i hope you take it to heart you know i hope you know that my words are genuine no doubt for sure for sure for sure i've been trying to get my brother to get on here he got some stuff going on that I would love for y'all to share. Y'all, some of you guys know my brother Dre, AJ. Y'all might know him as. He got some dope things going on that I definitely want to share. I want to get my nephew on. Um, Evo, Eric, what up, nephew? Definitely want to get him on eventually. You know what I'm saying? He got some dope stuff going on to share. It's a lot. It's a lot of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Even back home, it's a lot of y'all. Uh, Sir Kendrick. Reloaded gutter like I you know, I don't say a lot, but I definitely you know I pay attention. I see people who doing big things. You know what I'm saying? And you know much love much 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 love I'm just trying to get to the place where I can accommodate That type of company, you know what I'm saying, but I definitely see it. It's definitely inspiring You know definitely uh, inspired what I'm doing now, just because I know, you know what I'm saying, so many talented people, you know what I'm saying, raw talent, you know what I'm saying, dope artists, you know what I'm saying, that inspire me, you know, I've seen so many people persevere, not giving up on their dreams, you know, and I respect it, I respect it, you know, and the people need to, need to hear it. You know, we all got a story to tell. And that's the whole point of this show. You know what I'm saying? We're going to tell stories. We're going to laugh. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about some real shit. We're going to talk about some bullshit sometimes. 
But at the end of the day, it's just all about bringing people together. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. So, yeah, man. Definitely feeling the vibe, feeling the vibe. Just checking the comments, making sure I ain't missing everything. I'm not even messing with this screen share thing no more because it's, it seemed to be making me freeze up more. So when I figure that out, the next episode that I record, I'll hopefully be able to, you know what I'm saying, uh, share the content better with you guys. And I'll have some better topics with you guys. On that note, once again, shot of clock. And I'm here drinking this bottle. Like, I don't got to go to work in the morning, but hey, we going to push through. And we going to push through. So, listen. One thing that I definitely miss about Mississippi is the Black Castle. And I don't even like really go to the clubs and stuff like that up here. But I just remember just the vibe in there. You know what I'm saying? Just the music. You know what I'm saying? The music is definitely different from what we listen to up here. You know, just the whole, you know, state of mind as far as like how people think. You know, I miss that. I miss I miss the country shit sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie. Definitely a country girl at heart. You know what I'm saying? I was born here, but I was definitely raised in the country. So I do miss that. I can't wait, can't wait, wait, wait to come down south. Oh, you know what else I miss? Japs. Is Japs still open, y'all? Anybody? Y'all out there watching, is Jap still open? I could go for a good old Jap's burger. Listen, I remember when I used to go out down there and it used to be like 2 o'clock in the morning, leaving the club, and you could get a chitlin plate. You could get a chitlin plate with the salad and bread and shit at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was eating chitlins, yo. Chitlins at 2 It don't get no better than that. It don't get no better than that. There is no place up here that you can get a fucking chitlin plate at no time of day. <laughs> Not that I know of, unless it's like around the holidays. So, and that's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, what else? I don't know. I'm looking forward to having a good Kool-Aid pickle. I made me some the other day. They don't eat those here. They don't make them here. Uh, what else? Kool-Aid pickle, ice cup. I ain't had one of those in years. Like, I don't call myself making them, but they ain't like them good old Miss Sibley ice cups. I did definitely not forget about the Miss Sibley ice cups. Shout out, Miss Sibley. Oh, yeah. She used to have the best ice cups ever. And candy apples. Definitely looking forward to it. Shout out to my niece now. Much love, much love, niece. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah, man. So. And again, I'm just happy to, you know, be upright. You know, still be in my right mind, you know, as much as possible. You know, I'm thankful. Definitely, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for y'all. You know, thankful for my life. Thankful for my family. You know. You know, you got, that's what you got to do. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know when your last day is going to be. So, you got to live every day like it's your last one. Love every day like it's your last one. Let people know, you know, that you care about them. You know, let them know 
that they mean something to you in life because you never know when you're going to have the opportunity again. You know? And not even on no, on no, on no sad stuff because like I said, I'm not trying to be on that at all. But, you know, just addressing that elephant in the room or whatever. We gonna be all right, y'all. We gonna get through this. You know, we gonna lean on each other. You know, I just want y'all to know my love is 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 pouring, 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 pouring out from here all the way there to you guys. You know that. I hope that you feel that. You know, what I'm saying I really do. I hope that y'all feel that. And I can't wait to to get there and just. Love all my people and feel the love from my people. I, I can't wait. I be getting tired of getting called the country. And then when I get down there, y'all going to be saying that I'm proper. <laughs> but up here, they call me country. So, I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit of both. I ain't even tripping. Whatever. Yeah, so it's 51 minutes. I'm on the road. I'm on the road. 51 minutes. I can't believe it already. 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 I'm going to do better, though, y'all. You know, definitely going to do better. That's what we got to do. We got to do better. So, moving forward. Every day that you wake up is another opportunity. You know, every minute that you waste on some stupid shit, guess what? That's a minute wasted that you can't get back. So, it's time out for that. Oh, excuse me, my sinuses are bad. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm so congested and just like puffy. But, you know. I'm going to be alright. I'm going to be alright. Definitely. Definitely. But again, man, these last few minutes with you guys. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, let me see what else I got here. I might got one more little thing that I can touch on real quick and then that's another thing i want to work on just like as far as like interacting with you guys that's why um i just stuck strictly to this so i could see y'all comments and interact with you guys because it don't do me the good no good to just be here talking and not responding to you know whatever it is you guys are saying or commenting so yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, it just seemed like it's just been so much bad news. I know y'all heard about old girl from um 702. Y'all remember 702? I don't really want to go. I don't really want to stay. So listen, I remember and Georgetta Price, and I know you're probably not watching, but I remember years and years ago, I believe we was at the skating rink. I, I think it was uh, the spotlight. So they used to have like the little karaoke moments. Hold on. Let me take a shot. So they used to have like the little karaoke moments at the spotlight or whatever. So you could get on the mic, you know, you could sing a song or you could rap. Or whatever they would have like a little dance contest and all of that so this one particular time that's when uh that song that i just got finished singing i don't really want to stay that song had came out child i thought i could sing so it was uh georgetta it was me i can't really remember because it was so long ago but all I know is we got on, a, we were singing or whatever, Georgetta was singing. She could like really sing. And I don't know why I chose the high part of the song. Uh, what was the part? 
I'm like, you gotta let me know just how you... Oh, my God. The high note in the song, y'all know what I'm talking about. And it was terrible, and they, like, booed me. <laughs> and I was like, I'm nervous. I got bad nerves. It was terrible. It was tragic. But that was definitely a good memory. You know what I'm saying? Good, funny memory. Something I can look back on and laugh. Now, do you remember that, Georgetta? Yeah, I embarrassed the shit out of myself that day. But that's yeah. Oh my God. Then I remember another time at the spotlight. And this is when, when like genuine, when Pony, that if you, mm, 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 mm. so I was dancing. I used to think I could dance or whatever. And I was doing the little, you know, the little Pony dance where he'd be doing all that. And I had like these pigtails. Remember back in the day, we used to wear the, the microwave ponytails or whatever. So I had like the two microwave ponytails on my head. You know, you use a hairpin to, to hold it down or whatever. And I'm getting down dancing. I'm getting down dancing. You know, and people like standing around. And the next thing you know, I noticed uh, some chick like pointing or whatever. And she's laughing. I don't know why she's laughing or whatever. I don't know. In my head, I'm killing it. I'm I'm fucking it up. Like I'm I'm riding a pony. I'm doing all the you know the little roll and I'm twisting my feet around. And child, I must have kind of like caught in my peripheral. My whole track was just like hanging. It was just like a little piece of the ponytail that was still bent in my hair. <laughs> I can't remember who I was at the skate rink with, but that was definitely. Very, very, very embarrassing. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's messed up. Yep. I got some crazy stories. Especially like when I first moved down south. Lots of lots of crazy stories of stuff that happened. Things that I did or whatever. Things that happened. Definitely. So I will get into that. Definitely got to get into that. But yeah, man, again, I definitely just want to thank y'all for rocking with me. The few people who did tune in today, normally what I do when I get ready to um, go live, what I'll do is I'll just say, you know, tune in to the den. But I don't know, tonight was just kind of like sporadic, you know, I just felt like I needed to jump on and kind of clear my head a little bit and just vent, you know. I've been talking to myself, but <laughs> I figured this is a this is a better outlet. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm not the only person that talks to myself out here. You know, my mom used to say it's okay to talk to yourself as long as you don't answer yourself. So I guess you crazy if you answer yourself. So I don't know because I be doing that too sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, man, again, I appreciate you guys, man. Definitely, definitely. Um, I will be doing more shows. I will be getting back on here. I actually was about to end it because I just wasn't feeling the equipment glitching and all that kind of stuff like that. But hey, whatever. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rocking with me. Y'all rocking with me. And we're going to rock till the wheels fall off, no doubt. So definitely, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody got their own stuff going on. But, hey, you know, you have a little time. You know what I'm saying? Click that like. You have a little time. You know, check out the video. View the video, no doubt. You absolutely can find me on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
You can email me, elliejackson25 at gmail.com. If you want to inquire about anything as far as getting on, you know, coming on the show. I mean, I'm just really doing that to, to make it sound good. I mean, shit, just hit me up in my inbox or whatever. If you know me personally, you get, you know, like that, you got my phone number, call me and we'll set it up. Simple as that. But I'm definitely open to interviews like it's, it's it's not that big of a deal because again i'm still just trying to you know find the rhythm of the show as far as you know like i said what direction i want to do or want to go so it's no big deal but i definitely want to um you know collab with some of you guys sit down and talk with some of you guys see what i can learn you know what i'm saying i'm always open to learning new things every day you never stop learning so you know, y'all definitely rock with me, holla at me for sure. Ellie Jackson is the page E L L Y J A C K S O N. And also, you can find my page on YouTube if you just want to go and check out some previously recorded stuff. And I uh, will upload this episode too in case you miss it. It's at Enter the Den 08 on YouTube. Uh, you can find it, Ellie Jackson 25. So that's E L L Y Jackson 25 all together. And it'll pull up. You'll see the little purple the den little sign or whatever hey subscribe to the shit it ain't gonna hurt you subscribe to the shit one time you know what i'm saying check it out you know what i'm saying critique it and hey see what it where it could go you know what i'm saying i'm appreciative of the love that i have gotten you know what i'm saying and it's up from here we not stopping we in the den so I'm going to get ready to jump off, you guys, man. I just want to say once again that I love y'all, you know, back home to my hometown, Ruville, Mississippi, sending all, all, all my love. My prayers are with you all. You know what I'm saying? My heart is with you all. Y'all stay up, stay strong, take care of each other. You know what I'm saying? At this point, we all need each other. You know what I'm saying? So definitely do that. To my family here, I love you guys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that same thing. We all need each other. You know, we got to take care of each other. Life is too short, man. So love on your people. You know, surround yourself with people that you love. So again, check me out. YouTube, you can email me on Messenger. You also could view the video right here on my page, Ellie Jackson, and I am signing off of the den with a love, peace, and soul. No, that's not mine, <laughs> but no, nah, real talk, man. Much love to you guys. Definitely tune in. I will keep you all posted on whatever it is new that I have coming up right now. Like I said, life has been life and we all going through some stuff right now. Everybody got their own struggles, their own obstacles or whatever projects that they working on. So, listen, I respect it. Stay on your hustle. Stay true to yourself. Excuse my language, but fuck what a hater got to say. And it's love. No doubt. Keep pushing, guys. I love y'all. Until next time. Mwah. Thank you for entering.